up guys? Today we are going to show you a cool little hack if you run a hamski rest or a blockier rest on your rig where you can still fit a two-piece quiver without having any clearance issues. Come along, we're going to show you how to do this little hack. Where there's a will, there's a way. Don't quit, I'm here to stay. All right guys, so basically here's my 27. This is a V327. Uh, this is that web quiver that, uh, if you didn't see that video, there's funny comments, people hate this thing, but I actually really like it. I have short draw length, short arrows, so I don't have a lot of doing, doing. Uh, so I was kinda gonna run this, but I wanted to make a video on, maybe you like the two-piece quiver from Matthews, the Q-Lite and you run a ham ski rest like I do and it's blocky and you're like, man, my one of my arrows is always hitting the cable and I can't do it. Well, a lot of people didn't know this, myself included, that Matthews makes an extension component that'll kick it out and we're gonna install that right here now just so you guys have an asset. Some of you guys shoot Matthews, some of you like the Q-Lite Quiver series, some of you like the ham ski like I do and you wanna have that clearance, this is how you do that, check it out. Let's pop this out. See what I did there? All right, do you have a pocket knife on you? Josh would. Okay, so we got a two piece quiver right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an extension to this piece to kick this out. So first I gotta pull this off, web one. So that's your set screw. We'll loosen that and we'll crack that out. Take this out. I may still run this, so we'll see, but I'll put this on for you guys today. These are super cheap. Josh sells them on podiumarcher.com and obviously they're not very expensive to ship, so support your local archery shop or support Josh, MFJJ. Let me rip these off real quick. So we'll go here and we need there. Yes, so crack that set. Ow. Yeah. Dan was here. Okay, so we'll set that here. Oh, that's in there, pretty good. These extenders just give you enough real estate to kick the two piece out away from the riser and you should clear your cable. So they just kind of fit in they're built specifically for these Matthew risers. So it's just like that. And then the bolts are just a little bit longer here. It looks kind of like that. Gives us pretty good clearance. And then we'll do the same on the bottom. We're ready to rock. And now we got clearance. You can see here, Tim, look at the real estate. I'll move out of the way. But now you're clearing this section. So I think that the two-piece quiver for Matthews is one of the best ones on the market. But I also think that that web one is underrated. I'd say the shorter your draw length, the shorter your arrows, that could be a really good quiver for a lot of guys and gals. Uh, the, the tight spot has a two-piece out. We hope to do a review on that soon. And we also like traditional tight spot, but just you just know those are all real good options and just find out what works best for you. But if you're like me, you like Matthews, you like Hamski, you might need the spacer, you're, you're not handicapped. And a lot of people don't know about this hack, so we just thought it would be a good asset for you guys. If you dig our content and our ABT, always be tinkering, tap the bell, hit subscribe, catch more awesome content. Appreciate you guys. Catch you on the next one.